Hi, so you've gotten your Grow With Us packs with every order, right? So what we're going to do is show you how to see these in your home. The pack comes with, for anybody who's been shopping in January or February of this year, you'll know that you've got Swiss chard seeds, basil seeds and sunflower seeds in the Grow With Us pack. You've got a little instruction pack as well and you've got your little sticks that you can write whatever you're planted in that section. What we're going to do, we're just going to show a really quick, simple demonstration as to how you plant these. You can leave them in the house, can put them in the garden, on the window sills. Just really sim simply with, with some of our household things that we've been keeping and holding on to. Yeah, so we want to show you how to use basil. Sunflower seeds, it's better if you plant them directly into the ground and shard seeds is best to plant them exactly where you want them to grow. You can see these though. Shard seeds are perennial as well, so if you plant them outside, you don't wanna, you don't wanna uproot them when they start to grow. You just wanna pick the leaves that, that you're actually ready to use because it will continue to it grow back throughout the year. So how we've set up, we've set up with some glass jars and some aluminum tins. I'll show you the jars and then we'll talk you through the tins. So with the jars, what we've done is we've put some stones in it because obviously you can't put holes in the bottom of a glass jar but you need drainage and you need the soil to be loose so that the plant doesn't suffocate its roots and it can grow and blossom. So you can find bricks like this in your soil outside or at any um, home base or B&Q. You just need little rocks. And what you do is you throw, them in, you throw them in there first and then you get your soil. So we've just mixed some... Um, now this is just normal compost. It's just a multi-purpose compost. But what we do is we add some coconut pork, which is just like um, the bits from outside of the coconut, the husk. And then we'll add some vermiculite. This also helps to keep the soil loose and it helps absorbing, it helps the plant absorb nutrients and minerals from the soil better. So that's what that looks like. It just looks like a bit of sand dust and a little bit of gravel. You want to mix it in properly. Camera turned off. <laughs> Sorry, but um, yeah, basil seeds are really tiny, so you underestimate how much basil you're going to get from it. So we've just sprinkled that at the top and then I'm just going to cover it with a light layer of soil. Remember sometimes, depending on, depending on how compact the soil is in the jar, you might want to water the soil first so that it, because it will push it down and then put the seeds on top and then apply uh, the compost on top of that just so that um, the seeds don't rise, don't rise to the top. You want to get them in, not too deep, but but not exposed as well. Yeah, because sometimes if you water it, the seeds rise to the top, and then you need to cover it again. It's a bit of a long. That's that. That's your basil planted. So I'm going to show you. So this is a uh, this is just a uh, hot chocolate, dark chocolate container that we kept just for this reason, really, because we keep quite a few of these things around the house. So we can just repurpose. Yeah, so so we can just get to seed in because you can you don't have to buy too many of these things. Sometimes if if you've got glass jars, you've got aluminium jars, even uh, our our reusable um, containers. So glass 500s or the 200s of the butters. If you keep them, wash them out. You can do exactly what I'm about to do. Not so much with the glass, but with the aluminium ones, because at the bottom it's just tin. So just use I just use a knife and I just poke and get some get little holes. Make sure I don't stab myself. <laughs> Be very careful, kids. Don't try this at home, except for the parents. <laughs> and that's it. I just poked about I don't know seven or eight holes in there. So for the drainage, so I could still put rocks in there, some some stones, but I'm not going to do that uh, just because it doesn't need to. So when it sits on a plate or wherever you've got, or wherever you're going to sit in the house, it it can just drain out when you water it. What do you want to grow? Do you want some shard? Do you want the basil as well? Um, I think give me a little bit of shard. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see how shard does in the house. This is an experiment. It's better outside, but it can still go outside, so you can always repot it. So don't feel like you're restricted by it being in, it being in one of these. But it's nice if it's in the house and it continues to grow in this in this space. And you can just pick it and, uh, from the comfort of your own kitchen. The thing about shard as well, one seed will actually give you three to four plants. So you so you'll get quite a few from it. So you don't want to overcrowd the pot with them. How many do you want? Actually, let me just put in a little bit more so it's closer to the top so that the daylight can actually can actually see it so I've gone up to about there. Three, two, three. Three. Three, yeah. So I go. So put three in there. I'm just gonna push them in slightly. 
and then I'm just gonna cover them just with a sprinkling. Keep them nice and warm. The compost is quite moist. So after that we just we just give them both a little bit of water. Yeah. And then and then you leave them. It, it's, it's it's quite simple guys to be really honest with you. All you need is your seeds, your compost and a container and water mm. and you're good to go. You're good to go, yeah. Well, one, one thing people people do a lot of is they over water so you want to wait for the soil to go dry before before watering again yeah you don't want to put too much water because that can drown the plant and then you think you don't have green fingers but you do have green fingers you just put in too much water green fingers we've all got green fingers we can all grow something that's why we wanted yeah. you guys to have the opportunity to just try it with a few a few easy ones that this is tried and tested from us so we know they're, they're quite easy to grow if you drop a sunflower seed in the garden it will probably grow without you doing anything yeah and we've had because <laughs> we um we have a lot of birds in our garden and we feed them and a lot of the seeds planted themselves yeah they yeah. some of them are sunflower seeds they'll drop out because we have sunflowers nice. all in the garden yeah very nicely <laughs> yeah. but that's one example of how to grow food on your windowsill in a quite simple way and we'll have a few more of these videos coming for you so february is the perfect time to start seeding start getting your garden together start planning what you want to grow yeah every order you order with us you get a pack of seeds nice. you get three packs of seeds yeah. <laughs> and guys if you live if you live anywhere in Biggles Way or the Bedfordshire area go uh, head down to seasons organic fresh fruit and veg shop and just in town they will have these uh, packs of the grow with us packs if you buy anything in in their shop um, you can get a pack of those for free they're great we love we love the bread we love their fruit we love their vegetables we love everything they support local makers they support local farmers fresh fruit and veg to your doorstep and at the minute with everything that's happening they're supporting families in the community who cannot afford food for themselves so it's a great community company it's a great project go get your veg your fruit and get your pack of seeds as well and that's it that's it it's a wrap it's a wrap See you later. Take care.